may remember back in 2015, George Osborne came to GCHQ and announced that the government was going to invest in a cyber innovation centre to drive the industry forward in Cheltenham. From that point, we've been working hard looking at that opportunity. It's housing, it's recreation, it's somewhere with identity, but it's also somewhere that has a business driver, a heart. That pipeline of jobs going from infant school all the way through. Cyber Central, I really think, is one of those once-in-a-life opportunities for a community to, to really grab and run with. Um, it's an opportunity for local authorities, for government organisation, for industry and for academia to come together. We, we have GCHQ, it's phenomenal, some of the most incredible minds in the country in Cheltenham. Um, but coming out of GCHQ, we've got some incredibly fast-growing businesses. It's the home to Ripjar, it's the home to Deep3. These are businesses that are experience hyper-growth and are so important for driving not only Cyber Central, but the economy that UK PLC needs as well. We're a Cheltenham-based uh, software engineering business working in the cyber and technology industries. The, the Cyber Central development is a fantastic opportunity for businesses like ours to really engage and collaborate with customers such as GCHQ and the National Cyber Security Centre but also other innovative businesses that are based in the area and bringing us together into a single environment. I think Cyber Central is a massive opportunity for all of us. It's fantastic for the borough, it's fantastic for the county and the whole region and I hope it will be fantastic for the university. So Cyber Central is going to be crucial in engaging young people because it's really going to show them the opportunities that are available to them within the county and within Gloucestershire itself. It's going to draw upon industries, government and academia and it's going to provide them um, the opportunities to engage with industries, see the opportunities that are available to them within the industries and within the market here in Cheltenham. I think it's great. I think it will give us lots of opportunities for young people like myself that want to go into cyber and will inspire younger generations to hopefully get interested into it and computer science and hopefully study it. Cyber Central is going to be a real step change for Cheltenham, having a focal point for collaboration to facilitate innovation around cyber is quite extraordinary and being able to provide specifically opportunities for young people to be that place that's going to be able to instigate training, CPD, continuing professional development, opportunities for young people and then the real world experience. There is also uh, from a talent perspective that's one of the biggest challenges that we all need to meet as an industry is attracting and retaining talent um, and I think by making Cheltenham and Cyber Central the, uh, the world leading hub for cyber security and innovation we will then be able to attract that talent and grow and help solve some of these really big challenges that we're facing in the industry. It's not another business park and it, and it can't be another business park. We've had so much support from people. This could be so great but it, its greatness is dependent on the people who sit behind it. You cannot deliver anything great unless you're working in partnership. Mm -hmm.